Hello everyone, I am Apostle Daniel Akbai, uh, the Senior Pastor of RCC, Rulers Christian Center. I, uh, for those who have been watching my video on YouTube uh, regarding the prophetic and how to hear the voice of God, I, I really want to appreciate every one of you for your feedback you see, the motivation is the feedback I'm getting from you. Whenever I come on YouTube and I see your comment, I see how the video has blessed you. I feel so excited and I feel like doing more. So that is the motivation. That is why I am consistent. Like this afternoon, I, I came home. I was very tired. But when I, 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 I checked the feedback I got from people, I, I the the energy came so keep your comments coming give me a thumbs up like my videos subscribe to the channel after watching the video you can ask questions if there is anything that is confusing you regarding prof the prophetic or the voice of god i am always here to help you and by the special grace of god I have dedicated this YouTube channel to the prophetic and how to hear the voice of God. Yesterday, I got a testimony from a brother that excited me. The brother said, Sir, you will not believe. I watched your video on the prophetic. And today, I met someone. I mentioned the person's name. I mentioned the brother's name. Something like that. I, don't re I can't remember everything the person said, but... The summary is that he met someone he never knew before and by prophecy he was able to mention names. The guy was so excited. Why? Because listening to this video on the prophetic or the um, understanding the voice of God will sharpen the voice of God in your spirit. It creates that atmosphere. It creates that sensitivity in you that will make you assess the voice of god easily so the guy was so excited he was so happy so i am glad so um today we are going to be considering this topic please if you are here to watch my previous video on the voice of god i did a video i did a video uh, tagged how to hear the voice of god it is on my channel you can just scroll down to go through it i also did a video on understanding prophetic sign codes and symbols how god speaks through codes signs and symbols and the prophetic circumference it is there on my channel so go through them and enrich your spirit let me tell you one thing you need to know is that what i teach in this channel is something you hardly hear from prophet those who are into the prophetic most of them don't tell you how they do it you, you wake up every day, you come and say, man, God is using this man of God. How do they hear God? How do they hear names? I'm going to be doing a video on this channel, how to call names prophetically, how to be able to pick names of people prophetically. That means you'll be able to call names where you've never been, how to be. I was ministering. If you check this YouTube channel, you can stroke, scroll down, down below. In 2015, I uploaded a video when I traveled to India for crusade, how God was calling Indian names where I've never been. That was my first time in India, how God was calling Indian names. So I'm going to be doing video on that how to call names um uh, names location town of people prophetically i'm going to be addressing that i know you are excited you are excited and you're anticipating about that video you can drop a comment in the comment section tell me you you are waiting for such video so it can motivate me i will pour my heart one of the visions i have is that by the end of 2022 at least 1000 youtube subscribers on this same platform will be able to hear god for themselves they will not depend on any pastor they will not depend on any apostle they will not depend on any prophet they'll be able to hear god for themselves it's a big vision it has started already i got one testimony yesterday so i believe this 
can be you. If you are yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel and you want to grow in hearing the voice of God or your prophetic gift, all you need to do is to hit the subscribe button. If you are seeing red below, it's a sign that you are yet to subscribe to this channel. So hit the subscribe button below and don't forget this important one after hitting subscribe button there's a bell sign above subscribe hit it you will see all notification turn it on anytime i drop any video youtube will notify you so you will watch at your pace so today we are looking and considering this serious topic channels through which god speak you know there are avenue god uses to speak to us see the reason many people are saying hey, i'm not hearing god god is speaking uh, i don't know how they hear god god is not talking to me is god the uh, dumb why is he not talking to me you see god has been speaking to you but the thing is that there are many so i'm going to be bringing out 14 channels through which god speaks to us 14 through which God speaks to us. So, um, it's going to be uh, a, 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 a soul-lifting uh, video that will help you. So, one thing you, you need to know, again, is that if, if God is speaking through a means and you are not paying attention, you do not know that God is talking through this means, it will look as though God is not talking at all. That is why this video is very, very important. So you are going to watch from the beginning till the end all the points I'm going to be bringing out to you. Number one, the avenue through which God speaks to us. Number one, still small voice. The still small voice is the voice of God that whispers to your spirit like i mentioned in my earlier videos this is this voice that whispers to you some say my mind was telling me it's not your mind all right so um, it's the voice of god your, the voice of god is contrary to what you are thinking is contrary to what you are imagining part time so it comes to interfere what you are thinking though the voice of god may still talk to you about what you are thinking but in rare occasions so it causes disruption what about i mean what you are taking so the still small voice will come and whisper to your spirit like you, you some of you think something was telling me that i should not invest in that business so but i didn't listen it was not something that was telling it was the voice of god that was telling you i went ahead to invest in it and today you are crying it was the voice of god so that is the first avenue through which God speaks to us. Number two, the second way God speaks, I mean, God speaks to us is through audible voice. Samson heard the voice of God audibly. He didn't understand. He walked to Eli and said, and, and, and asked Eli if he was the one that called him. Eli said, no, that is the voice of God. That is the role of mentorship in the prophetic, in hearing the voice of God. Ideally, Sam, Samuel could not have known that this is the voice of God. But because there was a mentor, the person was able to explain to him that this is the voice of God. That is why this platform is here. We are here to educate you. I am here to making you understand anything that has to do with the prophetic and the voice of God. So audible voice is the one you hear with your physical ear. Like Moses heard, you hear not in your spirit. This one you hear with your physical year. The third avenue through which God communicates to us is events. Alright? God speaks to people through events. At times, there are things that may be happening around you, around your environment, your place of work. God may be speaking to you in, indirectly, alright? So, um, you, you, you have to pay attention because at times, God speaks through event. Okay, let me cite this example. You you may be standing by the roadside. I'm showing you one of the examples of how God speaks through event. You may be standing by the roadside and while you are standing there, a bike almost hits you. Then after you escape, nothing happened to you. The bike just passed or a vehicle. 
then you just heard this ministration in your spirit. Why not shift from here? Because where you are standing, if you stand in the next few minutes, something bad can happen to you. So what triggered the voice of God is that attempt of accident that happened. I'm trying to cite example. So God has used the event that happened the event that happened to communicate to you, all right? So when things are happening in your environment where you are, you need to pay attention because at times when such event happens, the still small voice may come. The event may be the introducer of the still small voice that will minister to you in full, all right? Number four, um, God speaks to us through signs and symbols. I have done a video on this channel on how God communicates to us through signs and symbols, God can use colors, God can use sense of smell, God can use uh, uh, things that you see, you, you know, God can use sign. I use traffic signs as an example, the meaning of colors and all of that. So if you are yet to watch that video, you can check below, you will see that video. So God speaks through signs and symbols. All right, number five, God speaks through dreams. Yes. If the Bible says, if there's a prophet among you, I will reveal myself to him in dreams and speak to him in a vision. So God speaks through dreams. At times you see that. Now, let me, let me, let me teach you something. Do you know that God can speak to you about something through dreams when you ask him from the daytime? For example, you are confused about something and you say to God, Lord, I am confused about this. As I go to bed tonight, I, I want to have an appointment with you. Let us finish this conversation. I need more clarity. Let me show you a secret. This, you, I can't post this on Facebook. I, I, I don't share this on WhatsApp. I don't share this anywhere. But because you are watching this, you are going to be finding this secret here. Is my personal secret. And that is why those that are on this YouTube channel, we have access to major secrets that have helped me over the years. So if you are going to be asking God, for example, about something, okay, you have a strong leading to relocate, for example, to Lagos, and you are saying, God, I need more confirmation. So you may decide to tell the Lord that, Lord, you are asking me to go to Lagos. As I go to bed tonight, I want you to give me clearer, precise direction. I want you to speak to me. What else do you want me to do? What are the steps? So the first, the first thing you need to do that night before you go to bed is to carry a jotter and a pen. So when you carry a jotter and a pen, put it close to your head where you sleep. The reason is that when heaven sees that you are prepared, there will be reaction. So when you do that, it may not be the first night, it may not be the second night. It might be the first night. As you go to bed, you will discover that God will visit you and begin to discuss with you from where the still small voice stopped. So that is a secret. So God can speak through dreams. If you check your Bible, so many people had the encounters in the dream. God spoke to them. Number six, God speaks through the word. God speaks through the Bible. God speaks through the Bible. I don't know if this has happened to you before. Maybe you were bothered about something, you were thinking about something, you were worried about something, and while you wanted to study, you opened the Bible, you just saw a, a verse of the Bible that is addressing that particular thing you are going through at the moment. You just saw it. The same thing, the exact, sorry, the same thing, sorry, You now stumble on the same thing, the exact situation that you are going through at the moment. When you see like that, this is God speaking through to you. Remember, we have God's word in two dimensions. We have God's word in Rema dimension. We have God's word in Logos dimension. Logos is the written word of God, while Rema is the spoken word of God. That means the voice of God that comes to your spirit that comes, the, the still small voice that comes to you is the rema, is the spoken one. But the logos is the written one, the one that is written in the Bible. All right? You cannot edit it. It's, so the one written, the logos, you can't pick 
uh, your village name in it. You can pick, but there are ways God can use it to communicate to you. So God speaks through the word. The reason I'm bringing this all to you and explaining one after the other is because I want us to be able to identify when God is speaking to us. It's very, very important. All right. So number seven, God speaks to us through instinct. Yes. At times, <laughs> this one is very important. Do you know that you are having some friends or a particular friend at a point, all of a sudden your instinct began to tell something about this guy. You are no longer feeling comfortable with the person. You are no longer so God is so that instinct instinct is called the impression of your heart. God begins to lay impression, this strong impression on your heart. You begin to feel it so heavily. So God can speak to him. He's not speaking to you audibly or through still small voice. He can speak through your instinct. That strong feeling. You begin to have this feeling that mm -mm, this, or you are having strong feeling that you need to pray for your family. There's danger that is coming. He didn't tell you, but the feeling is so heavy. You begin the fasting. You begin to pray. At the end of the day, someone escaped that. That is it. So you have to pay attention. All right. Strong instinct, strong feeling. The impression is laid in your heart. The number seven is that God speaks through pictures. All right, like I'm going to cite one mysterious example. If you are watching this video, I urge you to watch from now till the end because every part of this of this video is loaded. God speaks through what? Through images, through pictures. Now let me show you something. What is this? Nestle water, right? So, um, as you can see, if you look at this carefully, this is a sign of family. A sign of family, happy family. You see a father, a father, mother, and a child, right? So, seeing this now, God can use this to minister. I may be in a place prophesying or preaching. I may be in a place preaching, and all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit may take my attention to someone and when I see the person, maybe this water is there. The Holy Spirit may take my attention to this water. I'll just see this family. All right. God can minister to me that this person that is sitting in front of you, there are three in numbers. All right. There are three in number, three children. It could be three children. It could be three in number, a father, a mother, and one child. I don't know if you understand. So, God speaking through images, God using image around you to communicate to you. He will take your attention to the images around you and use it to communicate to you. Am I talking to someone here? All right. So, for example, this, this, this rose here is something love, kind of. All right. Something love, kind of. So, God can use this image to minister to someone prophetically. The person you are prophesying to or praying for, you may see something like this. God may tell you that the person you are talking to is just in love. And you tell them, the person, as I see you, you are in love. The person will say, hey, Apostle, how did you know? God, because I saw something like this around, the Holy Spirit took my mind there and said, this person is in love. Are you enjoying yourself? You are enjoying yourself. Let me see your comments. In the comment section. See, I will make this thing simple for you. You'll be able to understand everything about the mystery of the prophetic and hearing the voice of God. You, you too can hear God. Number what now? Number nine. God can speak through visions. So when we talk about vision, there are things that people do not know. When we talk about vision, there are things people do not know. Vision has to do with the eye of your mind. Though there could be open vision. There could be open vision where your eyes are opened, you just see something. Yes, it is possible, but it's rare. But in most cases, you have, you see vision with the eye of the mind. You see, just the way we have five senses in the physical, we have the same senses in the realm of the spirit. The sense of sight, it is in the spirit because 
your the, your so I mean your spirit, your spirit has these five senses. All right, that's why your spirit can feel a broken spirit. You see, the spirit can be broken. All right, the, you, even Holy Ghost people can offend Holy Ghost. That means the Holy Spirit has feeling. The Holy Spirit, he has emotion. All right. So the five senses of human body naturally is applicable to the spirit, spiritual part of a man too. Talking about the sense of sight, smell, touch, feeling, and all of that. So when we talk about vision, it, it, we are talking about either open vision or you seeing with the eye of your spirit. That means your eye might be closed, you are seeing something, or your eye might be open, you are seeing something. Now, let me explain how that is possible. Have you ever been to Lagos before? If you've been to Lagos before, or you've been to a place before, and you want to travel to that place tomorrow, what happens? From today, your mind, the eye of your spirit, begins to see Lagos, if you are traveling to Lagos. If you have been to a place before you want to travel there. So, as you are planning, even while you are on the journey, your eye of the spirit begins to see there. This has nothing to do with the spiritual aspect. This is normal. Your eye of the spirit begins to see. So, the same eye you use in seeing where you are going, seeing the future, this is what I want to be and all of that, the same eye can see something about you. It can see something about year 2022. It can see something about year 2023. It can see something about your family. It can see something about danger that is about to unveil in your family. Am I talking to someone? So, vision is your eye seeing something. All right? The eye of the spirit. Seeing beyond the physical. All right? Because God speaks through vision. All right? The number 10 is that God speaks through trance. Through trance, at times you lie down, maybe you feel like you just want to like sleep. You want to sleep. Okay, let me just try to rest my head a little bit. Let me just sleep. You are not sleeping. You are not dreaming. But you just see something like it's so real to you. You see this thing that is so real to you. The Lord show you like a movie. You just see it. So God communicates to us through trance too. Number 12 or number 11. God communicates to us through sound and genuine prophets. God can speak to us through sound and genuine prophet. Look at what happened in Samaria. There was no food in the land. Elisha came and said, by this time tomorrow there will be food. He spoke the mind of God and everything he said came to pass. So God can use genuine. The reason why I'm saying genuine and sound prophet, genuine and sound men of God is that there are many are called, few, few are chosen. It's in the Bible. So, God can use genuine and sound men of God. So, over time, I'm going to be doing a video how to identify fake prophets and fake prophecy. All right. Number what now? Number 12. God can speak to you through word ministration in church. Maybe the word session is ongoing. The pastor is preaching. Someone is preaching. Or the choir is ministering song. God can use the song to minister to you. God can use any ministration on the altar. It could be drama. It could be teaching. It could be preaching. God, it could be testimony. God can use word ministration, testimony, song ministration to minister to you. How is that possible? Why these ministrations are ongoing on the altar? Your spirit has to be receptive. Receptive, all right? You need to open up your spirit to receive it. Some people stay in church from beginning to the end. They don't go with anything. But there are some that come with expectation that as I come to church, Lord, give me a word that will change my life. You see, they may be depressed, but during the word session, a word may be uttered by the man of God and it will be exactly what they needed at that particular time. And you see, peace will come, deliverance will come, all right? So when you are in church, pay attention during word session. God can speak to you too. The last one is true sound counsel. God can speak to you through sound counsel. This is you engaging someone, you are talking with someone, and someone is advising you. Sound counsel means counsel that is embedded with divine wisdom, the wisdom of God. As you are talking, God can speak through people. Are you blessed by this 
broadcast today. If you are blessed, let me hear from you. If you have any question, you can drop. How has this video blessed you? Your comment will help a lot. It will motivate me to do more. When you comment and tell me how you feel about this video, that is my greatest motivation. At least I believe that someone somewhere is blessed. Thank you for watching and don't forget, subscribe, like this video and comment. God bless you. Bye.